Politics and on to matters the judiciary, the 2021-2022 budgetary allocation has caused a star in the judiciary, further widening the rift between the executive arm and the legal arm of the government. In Thursday's budget, Treasury allocated about 35.8 billion shillings to Parliament, about double what has been allocated to the legal arm of government. Now speaking during the swearing-in of the President of the Court of Appeal, Justice Daniel Musinga, Chief Justice Martha Comey has asked Parliament to consider implementing the formation of a judiciary fund that will help in solving the sibling rivalry between the two arms of government. Justice Daniel Musinga's assumption of office ceremony began with his guard of honor. as judges of various courts streamed into Supreme Court gardens before Musinga took his oath of office to become the third president of the Court of Appeal, taking over from Justice William Mouko, who was appointed judge of the Supreme Court. I am committed to providing servant leadership that will enable the court to deliver on its mandates. In the challenging times we find ourselves in, but without compromising our shared values and principles. Facing an underfunded institution, Chief Justice Martha Kome could not help but express her dissatisfaction with the 2021-2022 budget allocation that saw the judiciary pocket 17.6 billion shillings compared to Parliament's 37.6 billion shillings. And of the 3.3 trillion planned, judiciary only got 17 billion. This has been the indicative budget amount for the judiciary for the first several years. Mr. Speaker, I note that even though the judiciary is decentralized across the country and employs over 5,000 staff, it is half of what your parliament gets. And we have no issue with what you get. The Speaker is specifically banned from voting in Article 122 of the Constitution. It therefore means that the Speaker cannot even introduce even a, a comma to any proposal to a motion, a bill, or any other or a report. The Speaker's role is to see what has come mostly from the government side through the office of the Attorney General. If it generally meets the threshold, approve it. The rest is for members whom Kenyans have elected. According to Kome, the budget cuts have had a spiral effect on the judiciary's projects, including the hiring of judges and other judicial officers. We need funding to undertake the various activities, programs, projects that are required for us to discharge duty. You can see how dilapidated we are operating from this museum, which I've wondered why the Ministry of Health has not condemned it as unfit for human habitation. We have 20, 36 other court buildings that are almost complete but cannot be occupied because we have no money to complete those buildings. If we have to tackle the backlog of cases, if we have to adopt technology to enhance efficiency across the courts, if we have to improve the infrastructure, because it is imperative also for the judiciary to serve the public with dignity, and taking justice closer to the people, increasing the speed of resolution of cases, and coordination of the justice across we require funds allocated to the judiciary. Underfunding coupled with understaffing has made Kenyans wait for years before their cases are even heard or concluded. For instance, a single judge currently serving in this court in Kisumu County also serves nine other neighboring counties. And you wonder what quality of judgment or quality of justice such a judge would render, other than just hearing applications and granting orders. 
the third arm of government, which has for the past few years been engaging in a push and pull fight with the executive, now wants the government to implement the judiciary fund that will help solve the long standing feud between the two. According to Article 173 of the Constitution, the Chief Registrar of the Judiciary should prepare and submit budget estimates for the judiciary to Parliament. If approved by the National Assembly, the Treasury must pay the approved allocation directly to the judiciary fund. Well, still